Morning. It's me, B. So we there's no snow, which is great. End of the weekend, start nice and fresh Monday morning. Today we're going to talk about commitment. why commitment is key in everything that we do. Now, last week I spoke briefly about intention, the need for action, the choices. But when you've brought all that together, it's time to think about the commitment it needs to follow through. What I mean by that, it's really easy to come up with an idea, a concept, a plan, think about it, dream about it, procrastinate for a long time and create all of the reasons why we shouldn't. But for most, the problem is not the end goal, seeing what they want. The problem for most is the first, the second, the third step, overcoming their first obstacle. obstacle. So how do we do that? How do we overcome that self-doubt and really commit? So when we say we're going to do something, we're going to follow through. Now before we get to that, I think it's really important that we just highlight what happens if you fail to follow through on too many things in your life. Now what happens is we create a belief that, or, or a level of acceptance to fail, to not follow through. For me, there's no such thing as failure, there is only feedback, I'm sure you've heard that multiple times. But failure for me is failure to follow through, there's a part missing. Now, I'm not suggesting for any second that we continue to do stuff when it is obviously clear it doesn't work. What I mean is that when you start something, and I think you can probably resonate with a time in your life where you were thinking about doing something, you started it, but you failed to follow through because you feared the unknown, you lacked self-belief, failed to apply yourself fully. Could be in a relationship, could be in a business, could be in a learning. It actually doesn't really matter all that much in what context. So the invitation today is to break that habit and firstly complete, go through all the things that you said you were going to do and haven't. So close those doors because the brain is always going to be reminding you of all those things that you failed to follow through with in the past, failed to actually complete, and it will give you an escape door and a level of acceptance for you to do that in the future. So, firstly, complete what you need to complete. Secondly, realign yourself with your identity who you are, your purpose. Go forward, create that vision, see what you want to achieve, and then have a, an unrelenting or unresenting attitude towards getting that done. Put both feet in. Because if you have one foot out and one foot in, there's going to be a time in the future where you are going to ask yourself, the what if question and when you have to live with that what if question it really does eat you up inside it eats you up in a place that there is no going back you've heard me say before time is our greatest asset it's the only thing we cannot recover retrieve we can be unhealthy we can get healthy within certain margins we can lose our money we can re-get our money or regain our money lose a business, rebuild a business, lose a relationship, be in a good relationship, 
But one thing we cannot get back is time. And because of that, it is key that when you commit to doing something and it checks in with where you want to go, your direction, and sure, things will change along the way and that's okay, that's part of the excitement of the journey, it's key that when you put two feet in or you commit to something, you are two feet in as opposed to one foot out. You remove the word try from your internal conversation and you just do. So commitment, if you've got commitment issues, it's because you've allowed yourself in the past an easy way out, that's one. Two, you didn't buy in enough to the to the end result didn't buy in enough it wasn't big enough for you secondly thirdly and then you failed to follow through so you created a level of acceptance over no longer requiring or no longer to do. Okay, so another important thing to think about is the internal language and the words that you're using. So what words are you using to describe your journey? Are you trying to do something or are you just doing? Are you committed? Are you going all in? Or do you have a safety net? This is where it's absolutely key. If you are lacking commitment, if you are lacking completion, There will become a point in your life where you will reflect on past and ask the question, what if? My invitation to you is to avoid that time. Now, some people have asked me in the past how you know whether it's right or wrong. That's really simple. You go to Legacy, see if that future version of you is congruent to that path. It's only going to be an answer, yes or no. And the second thing that you do is check in with self. Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel congruent with where you are right now? Or is it really uncomfortable? Now I do suggest that everyone becomes uncomfortable because when you're in that space of comfort, you become complacent. But for now, in this space where you're adjusting self slightly, you want to get to a place of momentum and that comes through just checking in with self making sure it the choice you're making in the present moment support that future version of self so for the next few days the invitation is to complete what you start enjoy the enjoy the uh, the feeling that you get when you complete something. And we all have seen it or experienced it for ourselves when we complete something. And this really highlights the need for completion. Where after an endurance, whether it be a marathon, a 10K, an Ironman distance, even the, the, even the signature of a contract that you've been working on for a while, doesn't matter what, but you get that state of elation where you feel proud of yourself, despite being completely fatigued. That's what I'm talking about. And you build upon that. You go from strength to strength. You go from that place where there's an element of loss, not as in the loss of an individual, but loss as in lost. And you build upon that with completion, one step at a time slowly moving towards that end goal. 
So, commitment, completion, know what you want. That's it for today from me, B.